surgeon says there is a 5 to 7% chance I will have permanent nerve damage from extracting my lower wisdom teeth. Should I remove them? He said I am at high risk since I am a bit older. I know I shouldn't have waited so long to remove my wisdom teeth. They don't really bother me too much, but the bottom one is sideways, which looks menacing. He said the risk would be that it could be infected sometime in the future and end up having to come out anyway. He wouldn't lean one way or another in terms of whether I should remove it. He just wanted to give me the facts and have me make my own decision. I am torn. I don't want to risk permanent damage, but at the same time, I am paranoid about my teeth. Any help? A great question. So the question is, uh, as the Reddit, question, the Reddit person asked, uh, if you remove your wisdom teeth, there is a chance of having a nerve damage. If you don't remove your wisdom teeth, then you're going to end up causing other problems to your other teeth. So should you remove your question, uh, should you remove your wisdom teeth or not? Again, going back to the, the patient that we talked about mm -hmm. who came to see me today. Mm -hmm. So the second molar, which is the back tooth right here, okay. it's sitting right here, mm -hmm. like sitting, uh, standing like this, and the wisdom tooth is sitting like here. So he's only 18 years old, mm -hmm. 18 or 20, I think, uh, 20. He's in college, 20 or 21, I think, yeah, 21. Mm -hmm. um, so he's in college. So he needs to have his wisdom teeth removed. The wisdom tooth is so close to the nerve mm -hmm. that goes down the wisdom, uh, goes down the bottom of the your bottom jaw here. Mm -hmm. So I, I exactly discussed the same thing with him. So he needs to have the wisdom tooth removed because he has a, the, we talked about the cavity on the tooth on the front. So he has a cavity in the tooth on the front mm -hmm. and he has a big cavity on the wisdom tooth in the back here. Mm -hmm. So when he went to the dentist today, the dentist told him, oh, you got some pain starting on the wisdom tooth because you got a big cavity. You got to go see Dr. Vadivel. So he came to see me mm -hmm. and I've been treating his family, his mom and his, uh, his mom's sister for a long time and that's how I ended up seeing him. Mm -hmm. So I talked to him about the, the, the problems. So now, hey, you're really in a catch-22 situation mm -hmm. because your wisdom tooth is so close to the nerve here. If you remove it, there is a small percentage or a small chance that you may end up having some nerve damage. Mm -hmm. But if you don't remove it, then you're going to end up losing the tooth in the front. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? But let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Let's say you don't, if you're afraid of nerve damage mm -hmm. and the chances are less than 5% or maybe in your case, it's less than 1% because you're so young. So if you don't remove it, mm -hmm. then the cavity is going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. And not only the cavity is going to get bigger on the wisdom tooth, there is no way you can stop that. And the cavity is going to get bigger on the tooth in the front also. Mm -hmm. So if you're afraid of removing that now, or if you're afraid of taking that risk now, you're going to be forced to take that tooth out when the cavity gets bigger, correct? Right, yeah. So at that time, it may be a couple of years from now, mm -hmm. your risk is not going to change much. But let's say you're going to leave that tooth for another 10 to 15 years. Now you're almost 35 mm -hmm. or 35 or 37. Now you're increasing your chances of risk really high. Mm -hmm. So normally, the recommended age with no, not much of a risk to remove the wisdom teeth is about age 35 or less. Once you pass that age 35, you're increasing your chances of getting any kind of nerve injury. Mm. And not only increasing your chances of nerve injury, if the nerve injury has to happen, mm. then as you know, as we get older, we are going to take longer for that to heal. Yeah. So the chances of your nerve injury uh, one nerve to repair itself or uh, the nerve injury to get bigger, get better, mm -hmm. it becomes less also. So again, going back to what this person is asking, mm -hmm. are you increasing your chances by waiting longer? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You are going to increase your chances by waiting longer. Mm -hmm. Why is the oral surgeon telling you to make the decision yourself, you know, instead of telling you what you should do? Mm -hmm. Because as clinicians, we are supposed to give you all the information that you need, and we are going to explain all the risk to you. That way you can make an informed decision. Okay. What I tell my patients is, yes, you know, these are the risks, but if it is 
my own too. Mm -hmm. Just like I told uh, the guy uh, from today, hey, if you're my son, if you're my brother, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell you to get the wisdom tooth removed mm -hmm. because I don't want this to happen five years from now, you are in a catch, you're already in a catch-22 situation, mm -hmm. but you don't want to be in a stuck situation. Now you're older, mm -hmm. but you don't have a choice other than removing the wisdom tooth but you are at a higher risk because you waited longer. Mm -hmm. So when you're young, get them taken care. And even before these wisdom teeth cause problems, mm -hmm. and I recommend any teenagers, uh, if you have a teenage, a teenage kid, uh, when they're around age 15 or 17, before the wisdom teeth start to come through. So make sure that you're gonna take them to uh, your dentist, ask your dentist whether these wisdom teeth need to be removed and before they even become a problem, just get them taken out. That way you don't have to worry about this person, whether you're gonna have any type of nerve damage, whether you should you be really removing them or not, whether you're gonna have problems by removing them. So no questions asked when you're young and healthy and before they cause a problem, you get them removed and be done with it. So that way you can have a, you can just carry on with your life. Don't even have to worry about wisdom teeth causing any type of pain, swelling, problems, crowding, nothing like that whatsoever. All right.